Hi, I am Pawan. I will be teaching you science. Today, I will be teaching you about 7th standard, first lesson, food components, lecture 3. I mean, lecture 1 and lecture 2 are completed. And the links of this lecture 1 and 2 will be given in the description box. You can go and watch those videos and you will understand this video now. Let me connect you with the previous lectures. We have discussed about different names of food components and the experiments to confirm the food components present in different foods like carbohydrates and uh, proteins, fats. About these three experiments we discussed in the past class. Okay. Today another food component that I want to introduce that is food roughages or dietary fibers. The dietary fibers are the food components that are present in our diet, I mean in our foods. To understand the presence of roughages in our foods, we have to do a simple experiments. It is not like the previous experiments, it is little different experiment. Here we have to collect some foods like ribbed gourd, bunch of beans, ladies finger and etc. Here after collect you these food items, you have to crush, cut and crush them. After you cut and crush them, you will find some fine strands or fine thread like structures. So what do you understand about these fine strands or fine thread like structures? These thread like structures are nothing but fiber. This fiber is nothing but dietary fiber. Dietary fibers help us to prevent constipation. Here a new word introduced, constipation. Do you know what is constipation? It's a problem of difficulty in motion. Some of the people they cannot go free motion. Uh, that depends upon the type of food that we eat. You know, if some of the people are not able to go free motion, that means they are suffering from a health condition that's constipation. Okay, in this constipation, the people trouble uh, for uh, free motion. So, how these roughages help from this constipation? Roughages help in free bowel movement in our digestive system. This free bowel movement in our digestive system helps to get rid of undigested food in the form of feces. Now let us talk about sources of these roughages. I mean where these roughages we get from. We get these roughages from fruits and vegetables. Okay, Fruits and vegetables. Say for example, ribbed gourd, bunch of beans and potato, ladies finger etc. And uh, if you take fruits like banana, mango, um, oranges, etc. The fruits contain fiber in the dietary fiber in them. The dietary fiber will not get digested in our stomach, but makes other foods digested. Okay, this is the main property or main function of dietary fiber in our body. This is about roughages. Here we must take care to include dietary fibers in our daily diet. This is important for our health. Generally we have a habit of eating fruits without peels, but peel is rich of fiber. If we eat the fruits with peels, the fiber present in the peels helps in preventing constipation and other health issues. Not only fruits, most of the vegetables are peeled off while cooking like cucumber you take, potato you take, we peel off them. If we do like that, we are, we are losing fiber from vegetables. If we cook the vegetables along with the peels, that helps us in preventing constipation as well. So here what I want to tell you is, you should not peel the vegetables and you should not peel the fruits. You include the peel while eating, while cooking, okay. So that helps us uh, preventing constipation and other health issues from the body. So I suggest you not to 
peel the vegetables not to peel the fruits and eat there is another complication here that we have to be careful while you are cooking or while you are eating fruits you have to clean them well because the farmers use pesticides to the crops to grow these vegetables and fruits okay if we uh, use the fruits and vegetables without cleaning properly we may fall ill so that we have to be careful with the peels we should clean well okay as soon as you get vegetables and fruits to your home you have to soak them in salt water and clean them thoroughly then not affected by the pesticide particles present on the peels of the fruits and vegetables so it's most important thing that you remember while you are eating fruits before you eat fruits before you cook vegetables cut vegetables you have to clean them thoroughly using salt water that's important thing that you don't forget now it is we are uh, being affected by uh, covid 19 right so during these days the virus may lie on the surface of the fruits and vegetables that may also transmit by means of the fruits and vegetables like this so that we have to clean them thoroughly so this is about rough edges and the sources of rough edges and the assignment that i am going to give you is you show this video to your parents your parents will also get aware of the healthy life so i am expecting you do this and be prepared for the next class you have to make a list of the fruits and vegetables which are rich of dietary fiber in them rich of dietary fiber and then uh, be prepared for the next class in the next class we will be discussing about the importance of water in our diet what is the main function of water in our diet that we will discuss in the next class this is for today thank you for listening thank you one and all